Now the time is 20 past eight. A damning report by MPs has accused Sports Direct of failing to treat its employees as human beings. The Business Innovation and Skills Committee says working practices in the company's warehouse and shops are closer to a Victorian workhouse than a high street retailer. Ian Wright is the chairman of the committee. The whole culture and the whole practice of making sure that you know workers are on zero hours contracts very insecure employment. They don't know if they're going to get paid the following day, let alone the next week. Um, and then the bullying and intimidation that goes on, absolutely unacceptable. Let's speak to David Condliffe, who's with the Unite Union. He's been working closely with workers at the company's warehouse. David, good morning to you. Good morning, Gary. What do you make of the tone of this report? Well, the report um, confirms all our concerns of what we've been highlighting the past three, of your, three or four years at Sports Direct. Exploitation of workers on an endemic scale. And at the heart of the issue is an employee's inability to raise concern for fear of losing their job or employment. And obviously this leads to worker exploitation, which is well documented about the young women giving birth on site, health and safety abuses, and over the 100 ambulance call-outs. But what we shouldn't underestimate is the role played by the agencies, let's say, in this report. I mean, it was damning the, their role. I mean, they, they're accused of giving false evidence and misleading the committee. And Sports Direct paid £50 million to Best Connection Transline to supply labour. And their dubious insurance schemes and the fact that they charge workers payment to set up bank accounts. All this, we, re we obviously we welcome the recommendation to widen the scope of the Gangmasters Licence Authority to look at these kind of practices. But what does it tell but, us about the wider issue here? Because well, obviously there, there are laws in place, the Health and Safety Executive and other statutory bodies are there to help people in the workplace. Well, what this, this tells us two things. I mean, uh, United is the biggest trade union in the UK today. We understand what's going on in different sectors of employment. Um, but the, the precarious work leads to widespread exploitation, and that's what the report highlighted. And so what we would do, implore companies like uh, Sports Direct to do is to move agency workers onto fixed hours permanent contracts, start to value our employees. Let's work with Sports Direct to get it back into the FTSE 100 index. We, we've got positive dialogue now with Sports Direct and Maya Cassia. I believe there's a will there to make this happen. But you're right in, in, your, in your question. Uh, legal minimum standards are difficult to enforce without being part of a union. So I would implore people to, to join a trade union. So what is the feeling amongst workers? I mean, are they concerned about a report from a committee of MPs or are they more concerned about making sure that changes happen on the ground? I think both. I mean, I mean, the workers have been well aware of what's been documented because obviously workers went to the Bid Select Committee to give evidence and we're, we're talking to the workers on a daily basis um, at the workplace and through our ESOL classes that we put on for workers on site there. And they, they are really pleased that people are now highlighting what's actually going on in this kind of workplace. But we need to change it, don't we? We need to change it, not just at Sports Direct. This kind of em exploitive employment model needs to end. Have there been changes already? There's been changes yet. I mean, um, obviously, we are now in dialogue with Sports Direct. Um, we've addressed the issues, of, obviously, of the search times. There's an investigation that we're working with the HMRC on, like say, on not paying the national minimum wage. So we're starting to see positive changes. But we really need the government to work with us to address the wider exploitation, to work with us on our campaign, to legislate to outlaw zero-hours contracts and to regulate agency labour. OK, David Condliffe from the Unite Union. Thank you very much. 24 minutes past eight.